Where's your mum? At work. Let's get back at four. While her mum's out working a night shift, Hannah and her friends use the house to party all night. The most drunk I've ever been is when I filled up a whole bath of sex. Hey, party! I don't want my house to be known as a DOS house for all the teenagers in the town. She doesn't respect my home at all. It doesn't bother her what happens in here. <laughs> the party's so loud, one of the neighbours has called Hannah's mum at work. I've come out around. again. OK, my bad. No, it's not your band, Hannah. It's not funny. <laughs> I, I don't know half of these people. I know all of them. Yeah, I don't care. I really don't care. Okay. I've been called out of work again. We're going to be inside now. No. Out. No. Out. No. Out. No. It's <laughs> Despite getting 12 GCSEs, Hannah left school at 16 and now spends all her time partying. Mum Suzanne's had enough. We argue more than anything else. We very rarely actually talk. Me and Mum have, like, ended up fighting and stuff. And I've given her a black eye before. Suzanne fell pregnant with Hannah when she was 16. As a little girl, Hannah was lovely. We always used to have laughs and we just haven't had that for the last few years. It's just sort of disappeared. Hannah had no contact with her dad until three years ago when he turned up on her 14th birthday. But the relationships faded away. He used to come and see her every week, sort of once, twice a week, and then it sort of got to, oh, I can't come tonight. I think that's when she sort of started losing her respect for adults sort of thing and sort of went off the rails. Mum, can you go to Tesco's, please? What? Alcohol. You're supposed to be tidying your room. They're supposed to be going to Tesco's. Just want her to realise that she can't live her life having somebody follow her around and pick up the pieces all the time. Richie, come on, up you get. Oh, my God, leave me alone. Go away. Richie, please. Go, go away. I basically think my dad's an... <laughs> come on, Richie, come on, this room stinks. Yeah, cool. We know it does. It smells like somebody died in here. I wanted to get my ears pierced and then my dad was like, no. So I was like, I'm going to get a big hole in it. That's Daddy's wee man. That's the picture I have in my heart. The contrast between this and now <laughs> is shocking. Richie's marked himself for life with that here. The most or smoke the most or do the silliest thing, you know. It's like he doesn't really care about himself. Richie left school with no qualifications and a bad school record. Detention. 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 Argumentative, uh, confrontational, uh, lazy. What, what am I? That's my son. That's my son. You know, th th that's not the son. That, that's not the son anybody really wants. They may be in the same house, but with Dad Steve working long hours as a lorry driver, they live more like strangers. Richie. Yes. Uh, watch the machine first, and then you can do whatever you like. I hate it. I hate living with my dad. We haven't really spent any good times together. Like, well, not that I can remember anyway. When Richie was just three years old, Steve walked out on him and his mum. Of course I blame myself. I cleared off. I was selfish. The damage is caused. Some of that damage is rubbed off on Richie. Richie's mum couldn't cope on her own. So, aged 11, Richie went back to live with his dad. But the relationships never recovered. I want to go back to this dark. I want to go back to the beginning to make it better. If I had one prayer for one, I would love to. I want to turn it all around for Richie and I. In a desperate bid to salvage their home lives, Richie and Hannah are being sent to live with strict parents under a new regime. And it can't come too soon for Hannah, as things at home have taken a turn for the worse. My mum didn't want to come because she kicked me out of the house, like, two days ago. I went to work with a hangover the other day. So I lost my job. <laughs> and so she didn't want me at home. OK, thanks, son. Can I have some quick, please? There you go. Thank you! Bye! Don't be spending it on anything you shouldn't be, right? Bags, booze and weed. Oi! <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, not bad, thank you. That's yeah, all right. Nice I'm <laughs> bricks. <laughs> the teens are travelling to Salifke, a small town on Turkey's stunning south coast. It may be a popular holiday destination, but Hannah and Richie won't be hitting the beach. The couple have two children, 15-year-old Erdem and 9-year-old Gerksu. In Ali and Janan's household, it's clear who rules the roost. Okay. As I am the head of the house, I expect them to obey the rules, whether we are right or not. Ali controls everything about his kids, including their diet. If I won't eat olive, I think my dad uh, gets angry with me. The couple moved from the bustle of Istanbul to small town life 12 years ago to devote more time to their family. Here is it here, yeah. My father controls my life every day. Even nine-year-old Gerksu has to pull her weight. They change our plates, they give us tea, and they are always around us. Thank you very much. If I don't do what uh, my father tells me, uh, my father punish me. I must be straight to my children for their future. After traveling over 2,000 miles, Hannah and Richie touch down in Turkey. What? No. I'm really confused and quite scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, that seat looks so nice as well. I want it to be a holiday, but I don't think it will. I don't think it's going to be anything like a holiday. I think it's going <laughs> to be like a slave labour camp. <laughs> yeah. They're coming. Oh. Really? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Welcome. This is my wife, Jana. My Hello. Name is Jana. Okay. Hello. I'm Richie. Did you have a nice flight? No. <laughs> no? No, it was horrible. Okay. But... Shall we go upstairs? Yeah, let's go. All right. Merhaba, Erdem. Hi. Hey. You will stay in this room. Okay. Hannah? Yeah? This is your room. You will stay here. Okay. <laughs> this is the first time I am seeing that stupid looking uh, earring. Uh, it, 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 looks, it looks terrible. I mean, I didn't like that. So I should warn the boy to take it off. Hannah? Richie? Yeah. yeah. Shall we go to the living room? Yeah. Before the teens settle in, Ali and Janan want to make a few things clear. All right. Richie, do you smoke? No. Good, very good. Hannah, what about you? No, I don't smoke. Very good, I'm really happy. Nobody smokes in this house. Respect is really essential in our society. No shouting, no swearing, no going out on your own without permission. We must see the respect from you. Richie, you look a good guy, but there is only one problem. Earring. It's not coming out. Your appearance is really bad at the moment. You had better take it off, because you're living under my rule. Not happening, it's not coming out, sorry. <laughs> Can I have a look at the earring? Is it the earring? Yeah. It looks more terrible like that. What well, could terrible? It's terrible. It's terrible. Why did you decide to do this? I don't know. Just because I was bored. Just because you are bored? Yeah. Very good. I got the answer. Can't just have it now. <laughs> just for a while. Stay like that. OK. I think it's ridiculous that you won't let me keep it in, to be fair. Shut the door, please, blood. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a minute. What a wanker. Good, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was kind of figured something like that would happen, so I bought a spare just in case. Mm. He looks so strange without this and with this. Janan was affected badly. She can't stand it. It's terrible. I just pity him. And I think we will give it back. I'm gonna roll a fag as well. 
do you smoke? No. <laughs> you drink? I was, no. I was laughing through like the whole thing. I just didn't tell him I smoked because it'd be easier because he would have like took my fangs off me. So I'm just going to try and hide it for a week. <laughs> I am going out. What should we ask? They've been in Ali's house just two hours, and Richie's already throwing the new rules out the window. She's up there like, oh, I feel rude. <laughs> I was just like a bit then. Where's Richie? I don't know. Don't know. Okay. I'm going to go play in the park. I don't care. <laughs> he went out. Huh? Okay. Richie. Yeah. Come. How old are you? 17. Good. Very good. But you're just behaving as if you are 10. Huh? Can you give me that packet, please? Cigarette packet. No, I'm not giving my fags. Don't go through my pockets. Don't go through cigarette. my pockets. Yeah, okay, but... Yeah, but don't go but, through my pockets. But you're smelling cigarette. Yeah, and don't go through my pockets. But you just taught me that yeah, you never smoke. I knew you were going to take my fags off me. You're not having my fags. Richie, where's that? What's what? This one. What? Don't go through my pockets. Don't go through my pockets, I swear down. Don't go through my pockets. Can you give it to me? Get off me. Nah, don't go through my pockets. Just go here. Get off. Get off. Oh, don't. Get off. Get off. Listen. Nah, get off me. Richie. Don't even talk to me. Nah. Richie, Richie, Richie. Get off me. Uh, get off. You, you are in my house. Yeah? Then yeah. I'll go. Get off. Let go of me. Listen, listen, listen. What? Knowing everything. Yeah, cool, get off. Accepting everything. I'm going. Get listen, off me. Listen, listen, listen. Knowing everything, accepting everything, you are here. Yeah, get you off You know me. what I mean? Yeah, do you want to get off me now? Just sit here for a while. No, I'm going. You said go, so I'm going. Get off. What are you doing? Where are you going? You said go, so I'm going. Just told me. Just tell me where you are going. Go. Just tell me where you are going. Go. To the park. To the park? Yeah, to chill. Will you, will, you, will you sleep in the park? No. Yeah. So where will you sleep? In the park, whatever. Richie, come in. Nah, don't push me. Richie, Who Richie, I'm not pushing you. Go and sit over there. So you tell me to go in my room, and then you tell me to go, and then you say you go... Just sit here. It's too bad. It's too bad. And I'll talk to him again. If he doesn't listen to me, sorry. I can't let him stay here. Just proper. I'm not going to get on with him at all. So strange. Like, normally it's me, the one, like, getting in trouble, shouting, getting shouted at. Come closer. Why did you leave so quickly? Just because you said go, so I was like, all right. Has anyone told you to leave house before? In yeah, England? my dad. Your dad? Yeah. Don't you have a good relationship with your dad? Just don't get on with him. I've left like two, three times. I've stayed out for like a year. Like a year? Yeah. But it's too bad for you. Your home life made me unhappy. A 17-year-old boy must have a very good family life. You must be near your dad and your mom. Do you want to have a good family life? I don't know. I don't really know what it's okay. like, so. Okay. It's really bad, you know. He has some problems, and cigarette is the least important, in my opinion. Uh, first of all, he has to solve those problems. For example, family ties, even if I can't teach him anything. He will see the family ties here. Maybe he will understand. Ali has decided to return Richie's earplug and concentrate on getting the teens used to a good family life as soon as possible. Got a head? Yeah, OK, but don't eat the head. Oh, oh. Don't eat the head. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I shouldn't play my face. <laughs> 
Hannah, why did you drop art school? Um, I had an appointment at the same time as my exam. Mm. So I went to my hair appointment rather than my exam. It's incredible. You might go to hairdresser any time. Yeah. What did your parents say about this? They didn't like it. But they didn't like it. But they said okay. They didn't say anything. Oh. Interesting. That's great. I can't eat anymore. <laughs> Her attitude was not so good. Uh, she looked uh, a little bit disobedient. A girl in her age must attend her school. It's nearly bedtime, but for Ali, the day's discoveries aren't over. That picture on your leg, uh, you must wipe it. I didn't realize it was a tattoo. It's really offensive. Don't wear shorts. Never, never, never. This is the most important point for us. They are not polite. They always say bad words. I am looking forward to them leaving house. It's the school holidays in Turkey. It's already half past seven. But not in the rural household. Anna, good morning. Morning. Come around the kitchen and help us. Ali believes children should work hard all year round. Now, uh, half an hour later, we will go to a lemon field. Lemons. Yes, <laughs> and you will do some work. I just want you uh, to see how hard <laughs> life is. To get paid? Um, <laughs> yes, if you work hard, yeah, you will okay. be paid. Right. Okay. Yeah. Turkey's Mediterranean coast is famous for its citrus farms. To get the lemon grove ready for harvest, the teens have to sweep up the dead leaves for Ali's friend, Farmer Saeed. Saeed Abi, see you. The whole grove floor needs to be cleared. And with temperatures exceeding 30 degrees, it's gonna to be tough for city kids Richie and Hannah. Richie? Yeah. Come on. Without her mum around to do the work for her, Hannah gets stuck in. But Richie's dragging his heels. It's just boring, that's why I don't want to do it. That's why I'm taking long about it, much like longing it out. Please, you must be, be hard, hard. 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 OK? Yeah, that's what I was doing. Work very slowly. Very slowly. Because I'm doing a good job. You can't rush a good job. Can I go get my drink? Wherever he's gone. Where you I did somewhat, to be fair. Did quite a lot, actually. More than what I thought I was going to do. Hannah is uh, better than uh, Richie. Uh, I'm angry uh, because. He's lazy. <laughs> At the end of their three-hour shift, Ali comes to pick them up. Farmer Saeed pays Hannah and Erdem 20 Turkish lira, which is around seven pounds. But there's a problem with Richie's pay. He says, you didn't work hard. Or am I getting, like, nothing? I think Erdem is All right. He doesn't want to pay anything. So I've just worked, like, in the heat, like, sweating my balls off for nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Having made his apologies to the farmer, Ali goes after Richie. He should have talked to me. He should have talked to the farmer. He shouldn't have overreacted. Hi, Richie. Uh -huh. How do you feel? Annoyed? Here, showing respect is really important. I was getting nothing for doing what I'd done today, which was mm. bloody hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, in this heat as well. Like, I can't okay. stress enough, this heat is hot. Please apologize to him. For what? For overreacting. 
what? For working my balls off? For him sweeping his fucking leaves? And then to not pay me? I'm not saying sorry to him. <sighs> I'm going to buy some fags. Come, come, don't go away. Oh, come, God, come, 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 come. Richie, you don't know the way? Richie. For the second time in as many days, Richie's anger has got the better of him. A teenager can't behave like that. Let him walk. 20 years of teaching experience has given Ali insight into dealing with turbulent teens. I think he's quite troubled. I think I need uh, to help him, to make him cool down, to make him less uh, explosive. The walk home in the midday sun is giving Richie time to think. It's just half day stuff. Walk out of school, right, house, arguments, relationships, everything. I just walk out of them if I can't be bothered with them. Two hours later, an exhausted Richie makes it back to Ali's. At home, Richie's left to his own devices, but here, it's different. I just want to talk in short about the garden today, to forget the payment. Main point, we should know how to treat each other. Do you react like that when you are in England? What, just walk away from things? Mm. Yeah. Shouting, swearing, you know, they're not good. And I know you swore a lot. Before you explode, uh, you should keep yourself calm. All right, Richie. Yeah. Janan wants Hannah's help in the kitchen. Hannah does nothing for her mum at home, but in Turkey, female family members all share the cooking, and cousin Seva has also come to lend a hand. Turn it now and continue to cutting in this way. Well, do you spend any time with your mother for cooking? Never. Never. She says bad, so bad, Oh God. so dramatic. She kicked me out of the house because I lost my job and so she got angry. Why? You, you lost your job? Because I got drunk. Uh, <laughs> How much do you drink? Um, when I go out with my friends, I go through like two bottles of vodka. Ooh. Glass of vo vodka, you said. Two bottles, not two, glasses. Two bottles? Two shishe vodka. Are you living still? Are you still living? Yeah, I'm still living. Oh my God. Big problem. You see Jana's face, really very worried about you. One time we had a fight. I punched my mum in the face and she got a black eye. <laughs> How can I say to Jana? Bu annesine vurmuş. Annesi bir hafta siyah gözle gezmiş. What happened? What happened? So I just hit her and then went out because I wanted to go. No. We cannot get shot to our mothers, to our family, to our elder people. You should apologize to your mother. Our mothers are very valuable for us. I think what they said is true. I just like to drink. <laughs> but then when I come home, it has a bad effect with my mum. The hitting of my mum, that was when I was drunk. Yeah, it's quite bad. <laughs> Ali and Janan want to show the teens how important family bonds can be. So they're travelling to their house in the remote Taurus Mountains to meet Ali's elderly mother and aunt. This is the best way to show our respect. Don't kiss, but... OK? Like that. OK? What? <laughs> okay. Merhaba anne. Hı 
This is Richie and Hi. Hannah. Okay, good. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Like chin in someone's hand and then headbutting it, and that's what they do. Turkish families are close, so even though they live an hour away, Ali visits his mum and aunt a few times a week. We often come here because they are two old people who need our care. Would you do the same thing? I mean, once a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't come up here like three, four times a week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the teens settle in for their overnight stay in the mountains. After the turbulence of the last two days, Hannah's surprised at the trust Ali's shown her and Richie. We're two complete strangers. We're in his family because we're known to be naughty. And then he introduces me to his mum. I mean, it doesn't really make sense. He's a brave man. <laughs> It's 5 a.m. in the mountains. Good morning, Richie. Good morning. Wake up. Ali's arranged for the teens to spend a day with a local goat herder to experience a different way of life. Five minutes. They've been told to wear suitable clothes for a day in the country. But Hannah's outdoor wear is leaving a lot to be desired. Are you going to party? No. Uh -huh. I wear this every day. Little bit every day. Not just the parties, I wear a skirt every day. This is what I wear. That I don't have to party. Go... No. You're going to party. No. This. No. But no day. party. I wear this whatever. I wear this farming. If I have to. She doesn't want you won't be okay in that skirt. Or that party it was just longer than my shorts. Come on, come on, yeah, five minutes. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want to wear them. Okay, you just stay here. <laughs> While Ali takes Richie, Erdem and 19-year-old cousin Doric to the goat herders, Hannah gets her just desserts. Kitchen and balcony. OK? okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think Shannon's scary and strict. When she tells me to do stuff, she looks quite angry. While Hannah pulls her weight for once, Ali and the boys arrive at the goat herders. Good. 28-year-old Kiram supports his family selling the milk and cheese from his herd of 140 goats. Every morning, he takes the goats to be grazed at the top of the mountain. Be good, boys. Bye-bye. I'm not hungry. I feel ill. These flies are disgusting. I hate goats as well. Let's go, because we are a little bit late already. All right, let's go then. Hey. Oh my God, I hate goats so much. Hey. I'm terrified of goats. Really? I hate goats so much. Why? Are you afraid of them? Yeah, I hate goats so much. Uh. I'm not doing this today, no way. <laughs> nah, not happening. Hey, Richard, where are you going? I'm terrified of goats. I hate them so much. I don't want to be here at all. <laughs> it's not funny. I think you should at least try it. No, look, you've just seen. They've just walked out and I'm crying. I hate them so much. I'm not going with them goats. I'm not coming. It's not happening. They're not monster. They scare the shit out of me. And that's just that. With Richie refusing to go with the goats, Ali's been called back. Can you just stand up, Richie? Are you crying? What? 
Yeah, as soon as I saw him. Uh, I don't even want to talk about goats. I hate them so much. Well, what's the problem with the goats? I just don't like them. Why not? I just don't. Don't? Or just because you don't want to go up? Well, no, I wouldn't cry over fucking goats for nothing. I hate don't, don't, goats do not swear. so do much. Do, wait, wait, wait. do not swear first, OK? I organised this for you, right? And for Hannah. And I can't let them down. And they are disappointed at the moment. I'm no, I know them. Yeah, and do you know how terrified I am of goats? If you do... I'm, I don't I'm trying to understand you. OK. Yeah, but I don't think you'll be able to. Okay. I hate them so much. All right, Jessica. Uh, All right. <laughs> It was just a wasted opportunity for them. They wasted it. If you uh, compare with Turkish teens, uh, they seem to be younger, not 17. Back at the house, Richie's still upset. Did something happen bad in the past with the goats? Yeah. What happened? I was on holiday and a goat kept butting me, like repeatedly when I was really little, mm -hmm. like, and I just don't like them. OK, I understand you. I understand you. Right. I would go up there, like, for you and for Killam, but I won't because I don't like goats at all. Okay. I understand you. But I just wanted to show you what the hard life can be. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean, and I'm yeah. sorry I couldn't do it. The first day you all reacted, I mean, you raised your voice which is which I don't like very much but today okay uh, you were unhappy but at least you didn't raise your voice all right yeah keep going like that anything you want to say no apart from sorry I didn't go up to the farm Sorry, I'm petrified of goats, and I had to let you down. Come on, good boy, be strong, OK? Yeah. You are already strong. Have a look at me. Look at me, OK? Good boy. OK, let's go. Ali's encouragement is giving Richie a new perspective on how father and son relationships can be. I think his approach is good to like his parenting ways. He's just chilled out and it's like good to be like that because he's like a friend most of the time and then he's a dad when he like has to be. I prefer approaching the teens more softly because being hard, so hard, just to these kind of teens don't work, you know. They are already uh, disobedient and I must slow them down first of all. Anna? Can you come here? Richie didn't make it up the mountain, but refusing to change her clothes meant Hannah didn't make it out the door. Do you think you broke the rule this morning? Mm, kind of. I was disappointed. Some certain clothes must be in some certain places. I mean, you can't... Uh, can you climb up the mountain in, with, in skirts? No. Yeah. Do you go to parties in pyjamas? Yeah. <laughs> Do you go to parties naked? Yes. <laughs> I've actually been to a party so naked. Yeah. OK, so, I mean, Janan warned you just to change your skirt. You must trust Janan and you must trust your mum in England. Janan just wants you to write uh, a letter and saying, oh, I love you, mum. Uh, I'm really sorry for the things I did bad up to now. And I'm sure, without saying anything, she will forgive you. Really? <laughs> Honestly, just believe me. OK? English. She thinks so. OK. Right? Yeah. You will do that? Yeah. Good. Right. I'm sorry. I've had it. I am happy. I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> Things about this family that I like are just like they explain themselves as to why they're telling me to do stuff. 
and it kind of makes me think twice like why don't me and my mum have that bond where we can like talk about stuff and I want that instead of just being shouted at all the time. Large family barbecues are a Turkish tradition. At home, Hannah and Richie never help their parents. But as part of Ali's family, they're getting stuck in. Hey, hey. Shake your bum. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah's helping the women make a typical Turkish dish. Is that a burger? A burger, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. It's very similar to burger. Uh -huh. I made them. You made them? Mm. We say Elina Salik. You made it very well, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Look, scoop it off. Okay, no. wait, 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 wait. No, wait. Honestly, no, yeah. no, no. no. Have it. No. Have it. Okay, For good. me. You thank you. <laughs> yes, no, no, wait a minute. Sometimes, wait a minute, sometimes my mum does the same thing to me. It's been one of the best nights so far, I think. I haven't heard any of them arguing again. Like, this is another night where they're all just like, Chilling, and I think one of them's even knitting. <laughs> My family aren't like these family at all. If I was to have a family, I would kind of want them like this, like all together and helping each other, and like the youngers helping the elders, and just like I don't know, just really nice. Chai on the kika. On the kika. Oh. <laughs> very good. Very good. <laughs> His pronunciation is very, very, very clear. Very clear. The tight knit family atmosphere seems to be rubbing off on Hannah, too. <laughs> they are getting better. In this family occasion, in this family gathering, I realize that they look happier. <laughs> Time to leave the mountains. Ali's driving the teens back to Salifke to visit the residence of an old people's home. Hey, old people. Old people are long. Do you like old people? Yes, I like them. You're crazy. Awesome. Ali wants Hannah and Richie to spend time with people who have no family of their own. We are just here to show our respect. They will see you, that's enough. It makes them happy. It's very enough. I'm not cleaning them. No. Wait a minute, wait, you, do, you, don't have to, you don't have to clean, OK? You I'm don't not have... helping them go no, to the toilet No, if you want, either. wait. No, you're not going to the toilet. Wait, Dog. A, wait a minute. Be a good girl, just for me, OK? Yeah. OK. <laughs> it's tea time at the home, and Hannah and Richie get serving. leaving these gloves on <laughs> so I don't get any old lurgies or anything. <laughs> Richie, she's a little bit tired. Uh, can you help walk uh, of her to her room? OK. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you can help. How? You can help. <laughs> Seynap is 83 and has no children. She's lived in the home for the last three years. It's good to have someone, I think, yeah? Crying. Is she crying at me? Um, Have I done something wrong? Uh, no, no. Uh, sometimes uh, she cries and melancholic. Why? Because I will ask. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Okay. 
Zeynep teyze niye ağladın merak ediyor. Yanlış bir şey mi yaptım diyor. Yok yok yapmadınız sağ olun. Uzun mu oldun geldiğimize? Benimkinin kimse yok da onu ağlar. Sağ olun Allah razı olun sağ olun. Gene gene git. She hasn't got any family and now melancholic because she is happy we are here. And also you help her. Hannah and you helping her. Oh, yes. that's well now. Yeah, she said, I'm very happy you are here and you are helping me. She, she said, um, I haven't nobody so that I am all the time crying. Would you like a hug? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you can, Richie. You can okay. do this. Oh. Um, so. So, 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 Richie, uh, what did you feel about old people? Uh, some old woman cried to me. She was like really happy that I come and saw her, and I give her a hug. Ah. And she was really happy. So oh, how nice! I feel better about how myself. Nice, yeah. <laughs> One day everybody will be old. Uh, yeah. I won't. And so I'll, I'll come and see you when you're old as well. <laughs> oh, good boy. <laughs> good boy. Thank you very much. What about you? Uh, uh, never coming back. Uh, I'm sure you'll change your mind later. <laughs> I feel that he's an absolute dick for bringing me here because now I feel like a dick. Because I just don't care about old people. Ali's disappointed at Hannah's attitude at the home. I just want her to feel compassion for the people who have less than her. Come, Hannah. He's arranged for her to teach English to a poor girl from the country. They are not a very rich family. She's the girl who works very hard. All right? Yeah, that's fine. Erdem's cousin, Doric, has brought Hannah to teach her lesson in a small village 20 miles outside Salifke. In Turkey, over a third of all rural families live below the poverty line, and adult literacy rates are low. Ida is 20 years old and lives with her family on their tomato farm. Ida. Ida. Evet. My mother. Your mum. Grandmother. I'm Hannah. Hannah. Before the lesson begins, Ida shows Hannah around. She says this this is the kitchen. Where does everyone sleep? Gösterebilirim size yer yataklarımızı. She says. Yer yataklar bunlar. Bunlar yer yapıyoruz. Üzerinde uyuyoruz. She says there living and sleeping in that room, all five people. These are their beds. So do they not have a bedroom? No, just yes. a living room. One room and one kitchen and one bathroom, I think. Is that it? Yes. Oh. That's all. My God. <laughs> At home, I have my own bedroom and my own bathroom. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello means like hi. Yeah. Hi. Happy is good. Good. Sad, bad. Bad. Happy, sad. Yeah. As well as attending university, Ida helps her mum by working in the fields and doing all the cooking at home. It's a stark contrast to Hannah and her mum. I didn't like fully appreciate everything that she did for me just because back in England I thought that that's what every child got. Being over here makes me like realize how fortunate I actually am. My life is just so much more simple than hers. Bye. Oh, thank you. There's been no contact between Hannah and her mum since she was kicked out a week ago. So Hannah's decided to follow Janan's advice and write her a letter. The thing I want to apologise most for is just, like, my general like, attitude towards her. I know the punching in the face was really not acceptable and, like, the major things that I've done, but they wouldn't have happened if I didn't have a bad attitude.
I feel like I've taken the first step and that I feel a lot better for it. It's the team's last full day in Salifke. After breakfast, Ali delivers a letter he's received for Richie. Hello, Richie. Do you know this? Yes, my dad's writing. Richie's lived with his dad since he was 11, but they've never spoken about the time dad walked out on the family when Richie was just three years old. I'm really sorry I was not man enough to stay with you both but I was selfish and hurting, so I ran away. I didn't, like, know, like, how he felt, because he's never said anything. It makes me feel like he does actually, like, care for me and love me, and that, even though he doesn't share it all the time. It's Hannah and Richie's final evening. They rarely cook at home, but the teens want to show the family their thanks by cooking dinner all by themselves. <laughs> it's on fire! Oh, wow, wow. Look at this. Look at this. The table looks wonderful, but everything is more beautiful when it is shared with you. Oh, thanks, Ali. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very delicious. Thank you. Did you miss your parties? Um, I missed, like, two parties and a wedding, but it was much better here. Much better here? Yeah. Guxi, do you want some help? How nice, very good. <laughs> She's a real Abla. You know Abla <laughs> and her sister. Is that better? <laughs> so that's a yes. You saw your mom. Thank you. <laughs> All the time. Thanks. <laughs> and you, Richie? What? I don't want to leave. I'm quite enjoying it here now. They've made me realise that, like, family life is quite important. I do want to be, like, more of a son to my dad, but I want him to be, like, more of a dad to me as well, not just, like, two people that live in a house, like, housemates. Like, I want to be, like, a family. Being part of the Voral household has also given Hannah a new outlook on family life. It was just really genuinely nice atmosphere, which I don't have at home. When I go back home, I guess I'm going to have to take the first step into, like, changing the relationships with my mum, being more of an adult. Hannah hasn't heard from her mum all week and still doesn't know if she's allowed to come home. I just hope that she can accept the letter and accept that I am willing to change. Don't cry, man. Don't cry. Take care, boy. See you later, man. Are we going to do the handshake one last time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jana and me have tried to give them attention and affection, and it worked. Just for one week, we have taught them a lot, but they have taught something to us. We shouldn't leave our kids alone. <laughs> As the teens start their long journey home, Hannah's mum receives her letter. To hear her actually say, I love you so much, which she hasn't said for years. So. I'm hoping that she has spoken from the heart and it is true. The next day, there's a surprise at the airport for Hannah. I'm sorry for everything. Did you get my letter? I did. Did you like my letter? I did like your letter. This week I just, like, realised how much you do do for me and just, like, and how I should appreciate it a lot more. You can come back home, but it is for a trial period only. OK. Things are going to be different. All right, should we go home? Yeah, let's go. Come on, then. I'm so looking forward to my bed. You're not... I'm like... 
Me and Richie cooked dinner like on the last day and we burnt the spaghetti and the whole house nearly went on fire. <laughs> I'll kick you something. Not spaghetti bolognese because that was so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a chance to read over the letter that sent you? Yes, I read it a couple of times. Uh, I thought about it and I agree with a lot of things you say. Like, I need to, like, I don't know, kind of learn from your mistakes and stuff like that and like, do better. I don't want you to go through what I've went through, son. You can stop now and you can le learn from us and you can not make the mistakes I've made. I agree. Would you like a hug? You look like you want a hug. I'd like a hug. I'd like a hug. Oh. Well done. Is there anything else you want me to do after? I'm going to finish putting the washing up. That was sink in the dishwasher, please. Total turnaround. It's a lot better. She does help out around the house now so that I can go to bed when I come in from working the night shift. I'm happy with her change. <laughs> I've definitely realised how important my family is. I've definitely learned stuff. <laughs> Love you, Mum. <laughs> Love you.